Hey guys, Bill from Competition Cars. I have another really cool Lincoln up for sale and bring a trailer. Now you're gonna see this car on YouTube first. There'll be a video posted. And I don't have a price, it's not on my website because I bought this car specifically put on bring a trailer, which is a seven day online auction. So when the auction goes live, I will post the link in the comment section, you guys can bid on it. So back to the car. This is a 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V with 6,600 miles on it. But this car is kind of special. This car has uh, a package on it, which some of you guys, I, I, I called it at one time, Givenchy or Givenchy. It's actually pronounced Givenchy, which is a French designer, clothing and perfume designer that teamed up with Lincoln in the 70s to make uh, a special package for this car. It's mainly cosmetic colors, stripes, um, the etching or the uh, uh, badging on the seats and whatnot. So the car is 100% original paint. Um, we do our five stage paint correction here. And um, there's no dings or dents on the car anywhere. I have a paintless dent guy that does that. Uh, the car is not completely free of flaws. There's some touch up work that we've done to it as far as minor dotting in of touch ups or nicks or scratches that didn't come out during the paint correction. And I'll point that out in this video as well as the pictures that I have are very detailed. So I kind of point to all the ones that I see. On this door, it's very hard to see, but it's there, so I'm gonna disclose it. When the sun's hitting it directly, you can see a little bit better. From here to here, there's a little, it's almost like um, a light, light, light. I'm not even sure how you describe it. Like the paint's just a little light right here. Maybe someone buffed it before I did. I was very careful. So again, it's probably not gonna be detectable in the pictures or paint, but it's, and, and when, you, when you're standing here looking at this angle, it's not noticeable. When the light hits it a certain way, you really stare, you can see it's a little light area where the paint's a little thin for being, being original paint. So you've got that going on. The chrome is great. The wheels, all the bright work is great. The top is great. Um, it's, 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 it looks like a 6,000 mile car should look. This one fender wheel has a couple little tiny little door dings here that are pretty typical for these cars. The other, the only other major, if you want to call it flaw or imperfection, this looks like, and this wasn't from my dent guy. Someone, there was a dent there and some dent guy made a mess of that right there. So I figured I'd leave it. I figured that on a 6,000 mile car, it's better to have, I'd rather have a flaw than a, a panel repainted. Moving around to the back, you see all the factory pinstriping with the, I guess these are double G's for Givenchy. All right, bright work is good. All the, all the uh, bumper cover, the fillers are, are in perfect condition. Like I said, the car has not had any paint work on it. It's 100% original paint. Laser straight body, super clean glass, no curb rash, five matching tires, including the one in the trunk, the previous customer put on. I want to say the guy I bought it from was probably the second owner. I don't have a ton of paperwork, but I'll have the money report and I'll have the receipt to where um, I did all the, uh, you know, did a service as far as the air conditioning and, uh, uh, you know, oil change and kind of a pre-sale inspection, make sure the car is road ready. And the previous uh, owner did drive a little bit, so it's not like it was just sitting for 20 years all of a sudden I got it. All right, let's go ahead and take, if you're finished, oh, let's let's point out a couple of spots and touch-ups. There's a spot here, a couple of spots here, or actually one little spot there that I touched up. And what we do is, we, like I said, we buff the car, paint correct it, I get the fat retouch up, paint the bottle, and I'll go around and dot any little imperfections. On the headlight, I call these the headlight bucket area. I've got an 800 mile car that has a couple spots. They're really bad about getting rock chips here. So if you're standing back, you know, a few feet, doesn't look terrible. If you get close, you can see them. They are there. I just wanted to disclose that. There was a scratch here. Actually, it was actually the paint was a little thin here where someone else had buffed it before me there and there. So it's touched up there, a couple spots there. Moving around the back. There's a few touch ups here on this edge. Again, if, if you don't stare at it, and you're not looking for it, you're not gonna see them. But again, you know, most of, most of you guys buy these cars sight unseen, so I want you to know everything that I, I find on the car. But exceptional condition, beautiful shape inside now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a separate video for the interior under the hood and trunk so we can shorten it and keep these videos a little shorter. Um, but again, look at the chrome how close. Most of these cars have little speckles on the chrome. This chrome is crystal clear. Just an amazing car that's, that's been really well preserved. So let's wrap this walk around video up and then we'll go to the interior trunk and hood. Thanks guys.